Hey guys, so we are going to go to the grocery store. I feel like property casserole that I kept talking about in the other videos. And my kids, they gave a thumbs down. <laughs> So I'm gonna I want broccoli casserole. So that's what I'm gonna have tonight. And um we have some potatoes that we need to cook, so I'll have my husband to do his um whipped potatoes and then the Mississippi have y'all ever had the Mississippi pot rolls? That is good. That is so good. So Mississippi pot rolls on the side. I'm gonna try my broccoli casserole. Um, well, the broccoli casserole on the side of the Mississippi pot roast, and then and some whipped mashed potatoes. So, guys, my name is Patrice, the Patrice Denise, and I'm on a journey to live a healthy, sustainable lifestyle one day at a time, one step at a time. And I am so glad that you decided to click on this video and join me. So, in my videos, I've noticed in the past two videos at least that I was like feeling kind of blah. And so I had to do some heavy thinking, reflecting, and just, um, you know, looking inside myself and see what is going on, girl. So I really think that it has to do with the season change. I was feeling lethargic. I was feeling just kind of down. I was feeling, um, what else? just not wanting to do the things that I normally do like my exercise in the morning um and one part of it is this is a season change the change in the weather and I was reading up on it and it said like if you're um more if you're cold you're more apt to be feeling down if you're cold so I was like okay so one way to change that is to get outside and get warm so that's why I did my video outside the other day and just right now me being just that fast me being outside now in the car because the car is kind of warm I feel kind of perked up I guess my house is kind of cool maybe I should turn the heater on but no so I just think I'm going to start incorporating some things to feel better and not in that slump so I get they, they call it the winter blues and I don't I don't want those winter blues I definitely don't want those winter blues one thing I want to do is continue to have uh, talks with my God and our God and continue to um, acknowledge that with him and have him to help me through as well because without him I cannot do anything. are back home from the grocery store sorry i didn't show you guys what i got like do a actual grocery haul because as soon as i got home i saw the kids just sitting there so i was like y'all put these groceries up <laughs> so basically i got the things i needed for um this broccoli casserole that i'm about to make i got a um pot roast a chuck roast because we're gonna have that i got like some snack things, my pretzel things. I got some of my soda waters for the kids. I got regular water, the little water packets, um, cereal. So my bag cereals, y'all know, if you know, you know. Um, I actually need to put those in the containers. Um, what else did I get from the grocery store? Bread. Hot sauce, my son loves hot sauce. Um, what else did I get? I don't know what else I got. Oh, oranges, mandarin. Yeah, the mandarin oranges, apples. 
some yogurt, some granola, chips for the kids. I think that's it. Oh, milk. But my, we got to get some more because the, that milk jug fell out the car and spilled everywhere. So we got to get another jug of milk. Um, some almond milk. Was that it? I think that was it. So, have you guys ever made Mississippi pot roast? So, Mississippi pot roast, real easy. You just put the chuck roast in the Instant Pot. And you put some uh, ranch seasoning, a packet of ranch seasoning. You put a packet of French onion soup in it. You put some pepperoncini in it and butter. You set it. You forget it. And then you have Mississippi pot roast. So I'm gonna put that in right now. I have the broccoli uh, steaming for the casserole and when that gets done, um, we'll come back together. And now the kids are saying they want to go to a varsity, no, JV, a junior varsity, a junior varsity game here in 45 minutes. Varsity. Junior varsity game in 45 minutes. So let's hope that my food is finished by then so that- My daddy go. Varsity. It's, it's a junior varsity and a B team. Junior varsity. Wait, B team? Mm -hmm. B team. Remember, we went. Varsity. Uh, we went it's the best team. Tell them, bro. <laughs> we went it's to. Because I like to go on the field. It's we, the best part. Okay. <laughs> we went to one about a couple weeks ago. My nephew and my, and my godson. But look what I got. While we wait for my broccoli to finish steaming, look what I got. Oh, and the um, Mississippi pot roast is in the Instapot, so that's set for 35 minutes. But um, I got this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. To Miss Making Over V for the suggestion of the Mueller. <laughs> Mueller Pro Series Multi Chopper Slicer. So I got it um, when I was doing my soups. You know, I don't know. I like to cut up, especially onions. And this, uh, she suggested this from another YouTuber that she watches. So I went and got it. Amazon. I'll link it down below. And I'm about to try it out. Actually, I need to rinse it off first, but. So I'm gonna wait. I have some um, onions that I want to pickle again. And oh, this look. so it has this and it comes with the different, uh, so this is the um, guard to kind of guard your hand as you're doing your um, grating or slicing. And it has this different, different uh, blades. So you can do different type of uh, slicing or dicing or grating. So it comes with different types there. Oops. About to break it already. Ooh, this one be good for my onions. This one. Mm. So that one's for that. I gotta, I gotta play with it first. Let me play with it first, but I do have some, like two or three onions I need to slice up to um, pickle. So I can use that, use this with that. So yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know this would be a good, I looked at all the reviews and Everybody was saying that it is a good buy. So, put it on. Perfect, put it like that. So yeah, this will save me from um, my hands smelling like onions <laughs> after I cut them up. So yes, all right. Broccoli should be finishing up soon. So let's go ahead and put it all together to put in the oven so that we can get to this football game. All right, so first let's go ahead and mix all the ingredients and then we'll fold the broccoli in. So we need eight ounces of um, 
softened cream cheese. Sour cream, so four ounces of sour cream. Four ounces of mayonnaise. And then it says put half of the cheese. So I want you to have um, a cup of cheese, a cup of shredded cheese. Now the seasonings, it says like a tablespoon of minced onion, a tablespoon of dried parsley, a half a tablespoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper, but okay. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Season to your liking. That's all I'm gonna say. Season to your liking. Hopefully, that's enough. I think my mom, when she does her broccoli casserole, I have to ask her. She does um, like mushroom, um, cream of mushroom. Cause I feel like that's the, that's the difference with this one. Cause I remember her putting cream of mushroom in her. So I'm gonna have to ask her for her recipe and maybe try it against this recipe. This was like the recipe that I found that said um, low carb broccoli casserole. So I'm gonna have to find out which, I think she does the cream of mushroom soup in hers. Let me know if you do yours a little bit different than this. It says fold in the broccoli, top in the with the remaining cheese, and then bake for 20 minutes. All right. Here is the beginning of it. So put it in the oven for 20 minutes um, and let it bake. And then we'll see how it is when it's finished. All right, I hope the dishwasher is not too loud, but the kids have left with my husband to go ahead and go to the football game. And I'm gonna meet them there because I want to wait for my um, casserole to finish. It has, what is that, about seven and a half-ish more minutes. And then the, um, beef the pot roast three minutes left and then also over there the um potatoes are boiling so we're gonna have everything all ready um then my husband will mash the potatoes up when we get back we do have to go um we are going to probably go by church as well this week our church is celebrating a 69 church anniversary and um, we went to service last night and uh, services again tonight as well as on tomorrow night and we the football game starts at six right now it's 5 59. you see that um and it starts at six so i live we live like 10 minutes away from everything so he's gonna go do take them get them you know situated and then we'll go to church for a little bit afterwards because church starts at 7 7 30 or sometimes um and then we'll be able to catch a word um and then we'll come home and eat last night we got home i would say right at about 8 30 ish 9 15 ish so i forgot what time it was but we got home a pr fairly decent time i know that's kind of late to eat dinner but um this is our 69th church anniversary and we are celebrating. So we'll see if I don't get to go to church tonight, I am going again tomorrow night. But um, yes, I just wanted to pop on here while they are, I, like I said, I hope that dishwasher is not too loud. I don't know because it's loud for me, but uh, I wanted to pop on here while I have a second just to kind of go back and explain. So earlier um, I was talking about seasonal affective disorder and it is a real thing. I don't want to play it short or anything like that. It is a real thing. And I don't necessarily think I 
actually like clinically have that but it's just the weather change um for me or i don't know what it is but it's it 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 um i could have i felt a difference the last two weeks and i can say that i feel better now um i think part of the part of it is just recognizing the feelings and i just felt like i just wasn't myself and at first i thought it was hormones with my menstrual coming on but that has gone came and gone and um so i i just feel that it could have been you know just a winter the change of the 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 not winter but this the change of the season the winter blues is what they call it but the change of the season and it's good just to recognize that um something's different so i know i needed to shake it up get myself together and just recognize it was something that something was different so some of the strategies that i um put in place was like i said recognizing my feelings um trying to get back to my routine so my routine is in the mornings getting up it's done getting up and um at least on the weekdays and, and doing my um walk on my treadmill or going to the gym tomorrow we might go to the gym i'll take you i might stretch this vlog out a little longer and take you guys along with us to the gym if we go in the morning my husband i think said that he's going to take the kids because kids are out of school tomorrow um we'll see if my son gets up we'll see but just you know that movement that that's part of my structure that's part of my uh my uh what do i say my daily routine and just getting back into that movement in general just helps you know get your body uh up and moving um getting in outside and even though i don't like to be outside i said that before i don't like it's not that i don't like outside i just don't like a lot of grass and just ah uh, but um getting into the sun is good it's good for for you during this change of seasoning of uh, seasonings <laughs> change of the season as the time changes and it gets darker outside earlier we get less of that sunlight so trying to get outside as much as possible and so today was good because i was able to um be out in the sun um while i would, went to the grocery store it just felt good it just felt you know instead of just coming going to work going coming home and so forth um and at part of that when i recognized what was going on i did put my trust in the lord to help me through so building that relationship with god and um trusting and seeing see, that he will see you through is essential in this um as well so i just felt that you know for anybody who was out there this this is feeling the same type of feelings this is real feelings you know don't um brush them aside they are real and true feelings so if you are feeling kind of bluish down and out just recognize those feelings and if you need to talk with somebody you can talk with somebody a counselor or a trusted friend an advisor um but recognizing those feelings and then doing you know putting things in place to help you to get through one thing it was is uh because i know during that time i like to shy away and get to myself and um if you if you are apt to it or if you want to or if you feel up to it you know um socialize with close loved ones or close friends so getting out of being by yourself and getting around others could help that's one strategy you know just talk it through and think of strategies that would help you to get through that's all i wanted to say about that but yes so okay one more minute for my broccoli casserole and this is done um let's see how it looks all right see this is so tender you can um break it up even more and it makes its own juice so you didn't even need to put a lot of water or anything in it but this is the mississippi um pot roast i'm gonna keep it on warm while we go to the game and then when we come back it'll be mm, yummy yummy all right and here is the casserole i think it needs to set some or maybe it needs to bake a little bit more but i had it in there for 20 minutes so i think it needs to either set or just um 
I don't want to keep it in here because I'm about to leave to go to the game. But maybe it just needs, what do y'all think? It needs a set? I am going to I'm gonna try it though. <laughs> All right. It's actually good. I can taste a lot of the cream cheese though. So it does take this taste different than my mother's, but it's good. Um, like a cheesy bake <laughs> broccoli. Um, but I think I wanted to cook a little longer. I think my oldest daughter can watch over it while we go. go. So she's here. So I might let her watch over it and then we'll come back after all the festivities, after all the events, and we'll check on it. That's the potatoes. All right, made it to the football game. I keep wanting to say basketball game, but made it to the football game. My oldest daughter is watching the food. <laughs> so let's, oh, I think it was a touchdown or first down or something. Let me see y'all, let me show this guy right here. <laughs> He always finds somebody to play with. But this is a game, another game. Again, it's like close schools. So this school that we're playing tonight is in our same district. And um, so it's like another rival team game. So let's see who wins tonight. Last time that brought y'all with us, we won. So let's see if we win again. <laughs> It's already 16 to 0. What is it? Second quarter, 16 to 0. That's sitting right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got a bunch of tackles going. You got at least four. Just solid. Hurry up and hold half time. Oh, yeah! Hurry up and hold half time. Oh, yeah! 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 left a 23 year old here watching over my broccoli casserole and this is what it looks like this is what it looks like this is my husband's plate this is how the um pot roast turned out it's the mississippi pot roast with the homemade mashed potatoes mississippi pot roast that's the name of it mississippi pot roast so the broccoli casserole actually tur turned out well even though it was a little dry because somebody let it sit for like an hour probably she said 20 30 minutes but i think it was a more of an hour but it actually tastes good let me see let me show you Yeah, she tastes good. I can make this again and have it a little more, a little more juicier. Even though it's a little well done, it tastes good. So here's my plate with my um pot roast and mashed potatoes and my broccoli. Good morning. So we are going to the gym. I told y'all I'll take y'all with us, but I'm gonna take y'all with us in the next video. So until I see you again in the next video, I thank you for watching. I love you all and God bless.